The word of Revelator for today, where we trust God for a word from within the word. Psalm 62, in the Amplified Version, verse 5. My soul waits only upon God and silently submit to him. For my hope and expectation are from him. Very, very important. Silently submit to him. Now, I don't know if you know this, but you as spirit man, you control your soul, which is your mind, will, and your emotions. You're responsible for it. And then you're responsible for your flesh too. And here, David is speaking to his soul. Taking control. Wait only upon God. Nobody else. If you're going to have any expect expectations, only let it be in God. So wait only upon God and silently submit to him. For my hope and expectations are from him. Silently submit. No complaining. No prejudice. No resisting. Just submit. And remember, submission is we give before, not because. We give it to God before he asks, not because he asks. And this, he tells his soul this, for my hope and expectations are from him. So if you're expecting anything in life, it's going to be from the Father. We need to understand that God is in control of everything. And nothing that happens in our life is without God's permission or God's commission. He only is my rock, verse 6, and my salvation. He is my defense and my fortress. I shall not be moved. How many times do we manifest? We see something happening on, happening on social media and we want to respond. But here's a crazy thing. How many times do you respond anyway? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, if I could say something, if I had to do it again, this is what I would say. We can't even play those scenarios because you're giving those people mind time and ear time. Don't waste your thoughts on those situations or people because God's your salvation. He is your defense. Who shall defend God's elect except for God himself? Nobody else. And he is your rock. We sometimes play scenarios that to our system are actually real. You know, if you're watching a movie, it's just a movie, but look how we react to it. Because our brain doesn't distinguish the difference between reality or fantasy. The thoughts that we are coming up in our mind. And that's basically where the warfare is. It's taking control of our thoughts. Take every thought captive and hold it submissive to the word of God. So even though you want to retaliate, don't at all, even in thought. Because it's all on God's shoulders. As it says in verse 7, With God rests my salvation and my glory. He is my rock of unyielding strength and impenetrable hardness. And my refuge is in God. Just sit in God. You know when we were kids and you were playing king of the castle? That kind of, I'm the king of the castle. Nah, 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 nah. You ca well, if we're sitting in the refuge of God, he is your rock, he is your defense, he is your fortress. And then it says this. Trust in, lean on, rely on, and have confidence in him at all times. Trust in, lean on, rely on, and have confidence in him, in God himself, at all times. You people pour out your hearts before him. God is a refuge for us, a fortress, and a high tower. And then it goes, Selah. And Selah means pause. And calmly think of that. Think of what? <gasps> My soul wait upon God and silently submit to him, for my hope and expectation are from him. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense and my fortress. I shall not be moved. With God rest my salvation and my glory. He is my rock of unyielding strength and impenetrable hardness, and my refuge is in God. Trust in, lean on, rely on, and have confidence in him at all times, you people. Pour out your hearts before him. God is a refuge for us, a fortress and a high tower. Pause and calmly think of that. Selah. You see, while driving in a car, 
last week. No radio. No, no motivational moment. I'm just deciding I'm going to sit in the car and I'm just going to talk to God. You know, like we're going to run to our friends and you're not going to believe what happened to me. And they said this and, and then they give you all the opinions. Well, if God is our refuge, it's telling us, go to him, pour out your heart. Can you swear to God? Well, I know of cases where people have. And God said, you know what? It's nice to have a conversation with you at last. You see, his goodness will lead us to repentance. So it doesn't matter how much we mess up. There's no fanciness. Pour out your heart. What is pouring out? Pouring out is just pouring. Whatever is in is coming out. Whatever shape or form, at least you are before him, acknowledging him as your refuge, and you are going, you know what? You're my rock. You're my fortress. You are my defense. And that's what he wants from us. Sure, he does know our needs, and sure, he does know what's happening in our lives. But he wants to hear it from our perspectives. And, and how's our heart towards the situation and towards him when we don't get our own way, when somebody comes up against us? I mean, how beautiful is this word? He only is our rock and our salvation, our defense and our fortress. I shall not be moved. Heavenly Father, I thank you for your word, how it constantly realigns us and reminds us of how awesome you are as a father towards us and what we have as our inheritance in Christ from the kingdom. How the Godhead is there just actively pursuing us and loving us and serving us. And Father, way before we even realized that you existed, your love has been so evident and so real for us and before us. It is such a beautiful and wonderful moment to know whose we are and we are yours. Thank you, Father, that we will wait only upon God that our soul will silently submit to you and our hope and expectation are only from you. Thank you, Father, that our salvation rests on you as well as our glory. Thank you that you are a rock of unyielding strength and impenetrable hardness. And our refuge is in you, God. We trust in, lean on, rely on, and have confidence in you at all times. And Father, that we may have the courage and the confidence to pour out our hearts before you, knowing that you accept us for who we are and not for who we should be. And that you spend time with us, showing what we could be, how you see us. We thank you that you protect us at all times. We love you, Lord. We thank you for this in Jesus' name. Amen.